It's the sounds and sights of a city that's on a war footing. We have food, we have uh, medicines, we have uh, all, all kinds of different things and we sort them into categories here. At Lviv's historic art palace, now a massive aid hub, hundreds of volunteers use every inch of this 32,000 square foot structure to store critical supplies that fleeing refugees and military personnel might need in the days ahead. We are all united and now everyone is helping and we're doing everything we can. In one corner, food. In another, clothes, sleeping bags and blankets. Here, medical supplies and toiletry. And in this spot, sacks of potatoes. Lviv has been a safe zone since Russia's invasion. Tens of thousands of people are pouring in by the day and residents are stepping up to help. And now the most awful thing is that we are getting accustomed to them, to all this situation. First days, all these first waves of shock, it's like settling down. And now this is the reality and this is just the job we must do. Yet there's a sense of urgency here. You feel it. You see it. On the streets, Ukraine's National Guard is out in force at sensitive locations like police stations, hospitals and government buildings. Security has been beefed up. If the Russians were to move on Lviv, one of their first targets is going to be City Hall, right here in the heart of Lviv. And so already authorities have put up the sandbags and erected these concrete barriers just in case. CBN News filmed as military instructors were teaching civilians how to handle weapons and man checkpoints. Ruslan Shinitsky is playing his part as well, cutting large pieces of metal. The goal is to wreck the steel barriers to stop Russian tanks from advancing on the city. These are the prepared Molotov cocktails and they are actually ready for use. And uh, these bottles, they are prepared to be transported because they are uh, covered here. They have a seal on them. Yeah. Okay. Taras Masalko does public relations for one of Ukraine's largest breweries. So basically to fill up, fill up the bottles yeah. and use them uh, to put gasoline and, yeah. and all the stuff that's needed. The company has ditched beers for producing petrol bombs to set fire to any invading Russian army. We need to be prepared and we need to be sure that we can uh, normally defend our houses and our cities. Back at the Art Palace, volunteers work around the clock. This is the largest humanitarian center with eight others scattered around the city. People are really exhausted. They're coming and they're saying, OK, I can stay for like five hours, but they're working for 12 hours. George Thomas, CBN News, Lviv, Ukraine.